This is bad. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are gonna talk Nikola Moto, ticket symbol NKLA. Um, this is a stock that we did a video here on the channel uh, when they went public through um, a merger with uh, Vector IQ. We did that video here that you no know, people went in, bought the stock at that, uh, I think it was around 21 or $22. After the merger, this thing just skyrocketed and went as high as $90 before uh, start pulling back. So, um, and again, the stock has just been uh, some kind of in a yo-yo mode. It's just been up and down, up and down based on the new cycle. So we're gonna take a look at what is going on. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So now let's really take a look at this company. So uh, Nikola Model, uh, you know, when they first came out, the people were touting them as the next Tesla, you know, in, so again, Tesla is to me is you know the pioneer. They've set the the standard, and everybody's trying to catch up to them. So when you come out and call yourself the next tech, the next Tesla, I just look at you and laugh because you should set the bar even further. Not trying to be like Tesla, because if you're trying to be like Tesla, it tells me you can't be the next Tesla. You're not in any shape or form. You have to be better than them to set the new bar. Um, I just had to put that out there. So here's why um, I am talking about Nikola Motors today, actually. So one of the, f the founders of Nikola Motors is leaving the company, which is bad news. That has actually drove that stock down almost 20% today. Um, and what happened is that um, I think the stock went as low as, as $21 before squeezing back up to around 27 when I was doing this video. So the founder is leaving the company and in an email that he sent to the employees of the company, he said he wanted to uh, leave the company so that the attention should be focused on him and not the company. Um, he wanted to allow the company to continue to change the wall with their technology. So I'm like, that sounds uh, really cute. You know, it sounds good that you want to absorb that, that all this, uh, uh, you know, criticism that we have out there about your company. You want to take that and leave the company alone. Um, and if you guys know exactly what's been going on, um, after Nikola Moto announced that they were uh, doing a partnership with GM um, worth about $2 billion, there was a report that came out just right after that, that Nikola Moto um, had lied about the technology. Uh, they had lied about where the technology was at, which is not really true. So. Um, Nikola Moto, and I mean, as a company, they are saying, oh, that was a lie. This, the founder, uh, Trevor Milton, is also saying all the stuff that they said in that report were lies. Uh, but uh, I just want to ask a simple question. If they are telling lies and you have the truth, uh, you can prove it. If you tell me that they're telling lies, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're telling the truth. So if you have evidence that can disprove everything, why not line it up and, and just put it in public and show people and be transparent that, hey, this report is absolutely false and this is what we have. You can do that and you know, absorb yourself of any of this criticism that you have out there. But uh, my personal uh, take is I think he is trying to do this um, because there is some on the line problem going on. I think that their technology wasn't up to the standard that they described when they went public. And so now um, he's trying to do this to take away all the attention um, and, and away from the company so the company can focus and try to make this deal with General Motors uh, sustain. General Motors is feeling pretty good about the deal. So that gives me a little bit of hope that they probably know something that we don't know. Or General Motors see an opportunity here to take part of uh, Nikola Motors technology and make it even better so they can you know, start manufacturing some, some trucks. Um, so to me, that's, that's my idea. But I mean, you're probably thinking about, hey, so at the end of the day, what do you think about this? Uh, here's my personal take. I'm thinking um, this is again, uh, Nikola Moto has an opportunity again if they can be transparent with the so called technology. They have an opportunity. Uh, from an investment standpoint, uh, if you look, when, whenever there was this massive pullback for Nikola Motors, um, you see it would just kind of rally again. Uh, the huge news or something happens, you have a massive pullback and you watch it rally. 
um, but ever since it hit the high of I think over $90, um, it's just been going down. So um, it's gone down again, like I said, to about $21 and just, you know, kind of between 21 and, and 45 or 47, somewhere around that range. So um, take advantage of it. Um, when, when bad news like this come up and the stock tanks, um, that's an opportunity to jump in and, 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 and just ride that wave back up again and, and just, you know, sell at the top and then just wait again for another opportunity to buy the bottom. Um, that's, that would be, that'd be my approach. Um, do you want to hold this long term? Uh, I would say for right now, it's questionable. I'm not going to hold it long term unless the stock comes down to maybe around 15, then I can buy and hold for a little bit. But as long as it's just within that range, I will only trade it and, and just let it be. So that's my take on it. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this news? Founder uh, or co-founder of Nikola Motors leaving the company um, and, and also you know, this whole thing about them being accused of lying about the technology and them not coming out and really disputing the report, uh, but just saying that it's not true. Um, what do you think about it? Do you think Nikola Moto is a buy at the dip or do you think, hey, this thing is just becoming uh, a problem and I don't want to touch it whatsoever? Let me know in the comment section. Again, if you are new and you're looking to get started with investing, uh, we recommend Weibo. I'm going to put the links in the description below. Definitely go check them out. Uh, when you sign up, you get a free stock um, and also you get access to level two information that you can use for day trading um again links in the description below and as always guys stay motivated